So the first thing I want to cover today is a couple of studies and stats by National Cybersecurity Alliance plus Gartner and ISC2 workforce study in 2019. Cybercrime damage estimated to hit $6 trillion by 2021. Every 39 seconds, there is a hacker attack. 95% of cybersecurity breaches happen due to human error. 25 billion devices connected to the internet. That's the internet of things or IOT explosion that we're experiencing right now. And in 2018, hackers stole half a billion personal records. Now at this point, you might be saying, okay, Naj, stop it. We get it. We see the trend. It's very depressing. Do you have any good news to share or are you going to keep hitting us with all this negative stuff? And my answer is, I'm not sharing these stats to scare you or to make you feel depressed. On the contrary, I wanted to demonstrate the fact that we have so many problems, but with every problem, there's an opportunity. Currently, there are over 4 million jobs available in the cybersecurity realm that are unfulfilled. So there's tremendous opportunity for you to go out there and crush it. Now let's shift our attention to network security overview. Let's say you just started a brand new business. You got three employees, Bob, Jen, and Dan, and they need access to a certain server. So let's say this is an accounting server that they need access to, to update records and maybe sell coffee, manage inventory, things of that nature. Now. This is what we call an enterprise closed system. As you can clearly see, this network is not connected to anything outside. It's a completely closed system because you have internal employees talking to an internal server connected to an internal switch. And this is what we call a perfect security. And the idea here is that if you're not connected to the outside world, you're perfectly secure. To take this concept even further, if you want an absolute perfect security, completely disconnect all of your devices from the internet. Disconnect your computer from Wi-Fi or wired connection, whatever have you, that will give you the most perfect security that's out there. But you see a problem with that? The problem is it is perfect security, but you don't have access to anything. And that's the delicate dance that we're going to talk about between security and availability. You want the ability to be able to connect to the outside world. You want to be able to access things while maintaining security in your environment. How do we do that? That's what today's session is all about. Now, let's take the previous network to the next level. Let's add more complexity to our network. We still have Bob, Jen, and Dan but now things are getting to the next level. We have our server move into a DMZ segment. We also have an extranet segment to connect to our extranet business partners. So for example, to fulfill coffee orders and things like that, instead of having to call those people, we may just have a network connection into our partners so we can place orders and transact business over that extranet and we may also have a wide area network connection to be able to connect to the internet. And that may include connecting to certain web servers and things of that nature. Now, this is a very different environment compared to the previous picture we were looking at where we weren't connected to anything outside. Here, we're connecting to a lot of outside networks and out on the internet, we may have bad guys. On the extranet within the business partner network, you never know. Maybe they have a disgruntled employee who's not too happy with the business and they might want to hack anybody that's connected to that extranet network. And you never know. Someone in your own internal network, let's say Bob, 
could be a gray hat guy where he's a good guy during the day but maybe a bad guy at night so what you may want to do is you don't want to assume that it's okay to allow people access to everything that are on the trusted side of your network which in this case would be the local area network the land would be considered the trusted side of the network right you want to make sure you're scrutinizing the land the dmz which is which stands for demilitarized zone the wan wide area network and the extranet and this is what's called an attack surface now we're going beyond ccna here but i think it's important for you to understand as we start talking security as a as a larger more comprehensive topic is the fact that this router has four different interfaces and that represents an attack surface we can have an attack from a wide area network we can have our extranet partner attack us we can have one of our employees launch an attack and even the dmz segment is not fully protected depending on how we have our access control lists set up and the firewall policies and things like that there may be some gaps that bad people or bad actors can take advantage of to be able to steal information and steal credentials and wreak havoc in our environment here's some terminology you want to familiarize yourself with when it comes to security the term vulnerability it's a weakness or a flaw in the network or a system an example could be a bad piece of code embedded within an operating system so for example your iphone it gets an update every couple of days or android or microsoft windows or mac you name it any operating system that's out there you'll constantly see these patches being released because there's always some vulnerabilities embedded within a code and if you look at something like windows or mac those os's have potentially millions of lines of code and it's very easy for a software developer to make a mistake it may be an honest mistake but it could end up causing your business a lot of money so that's a vulnerability that mistake that weakness that flaw represents an attack surface that a bad actor can take advantage of to get into your network the other term you want to think about and know and be familiar with is exploit a tool used to target vulnerability in order to gain control of the network or system an example could be a hacking app like a key logger designed to steal information a lot of key loggers what people do is they put them on a thumb drive on a usb thumb drive and then they may go out and plug that usb thumb drive in your pc or your mac and the next thing you know is every single key that you're typing in on your keyboard is not being captured and this way they can steal information so for example if you went to bankofamerica.com what follows is most likely your username and password they can figure that out so as you can imagine that's bad and and that's what an exploit is it's a tool the next term you want to be familiar with is threat it's an intent or action that leads to a disruption of it or a destruction of a system or an asset who performs this action this action is performed by a threat actor or a hacker an example is a hacker exploiting a vulnerability to steal credentials so we talked about exploit that's a tool we talked about vulnerability that's a weakness a hacker can take advantage of a weakness in our system and use a hacking tool to steal credentials which could be keylogger and the final term i want you to be familiar with is risk the potential for loss damage or destruction of a system or network as a result of a threat exploiting a vulnerability so this builds on all the different terms that we have learned so far and connects them together in a connective tissue an example could be a revenue generating website being unavailable to customers so that's a risk so let's say amazon.com one of the most popular websites in the world for placing orders can you imagine amazon.com being unavailable because somebody hacked or attacked amazon.com that would be absolutely terrible because that would mean potentially tens of millions of dollars worth of loss 
just maybe in a matter of hours. So what we need to do is evaluate risk. And, and based on that risk profile, we want to figure out how to protect our network. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.